y'all. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. I'm about to jump in the shower and get ready for my day. And wait, I'm putting in the um, <clears throat> putting in the battery into the charger so that I don't run out of battery. I always close the cat's door. I call that the cat room as opposed to my office because the cats hang out in there. But it will eventually be my office as soon as we get things painted and put in. And I'm gonna go to storage probably today and get a couple pieces that I'm wanting to hang up in there. Yeah, it's gonna be an awesome day. Today I have a showing at 9.30, so I need to get ready for that right now. Then I have a meeting at 12, and then I don't think I have anything else. And I need to go to Costco to get some allergy medicine, and I need to go to Target to return those shoes or exchange them, preferably exchange them. Somehow exchange them, I don't know. And then, um, what was the other thing? I can't remember. Probably get a hot chocolate. Okay, real quick before I head out. I didn't finish curling my hair. Did I tell you I was gonna curl my hair? I started to try to curl it, but anyway, maybe I'll come back and finish it. I put on this Kendra Scott necklace to kind of dress up this outfit because it's kind of cash. It's the stretchy knit blazer that I got from JC Penney's, and um, the top is also a sleeveless little blouse from JC Penney's, and I don't know where I got the gray skinny jeans from, but I paired it with some black flats. So this is the look for today. I think I told you, but I have a showing in like a few minutes. So I need to go. But I also want to stop by, in addition to Costco and possibly Target, I want to stop by, oh, I forgot to take that out. Darn, ah, oh, it's stuck to my hair. Um, I also want to stop by the storage place to get out that couple items that I want to hang up in the house. I'm in my car now and I just filmed the hot chocolate chat. I'll insert that clip here. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. It's about to rain. I can hear it thundering. We're going to make this quick. I want to know. Oh, oh, look at me straightening up my jacket. It's a stretch knit blazer from JCPenney. I want to know how tall are you? Because I am just a little under five foot. I always tell people I'm five foot tall, but I'm not actually. I could just possibly be shrinking or something because I am going to be 52 this month. It is my birthday month. What? But yeah, the last time I went to the dog, I was like 4'11 and 3 fourths or something. So basically, I mean, that's basically five foot. I wasn't lying. And you round up a lot of times. So I'm rounding up to five foot. <laughs> so I'm five foot tall. I've been Googling a lot of random stuff this morning. And one of the things I Googled was... How tall is the average woman in the United States? Basically, Google said, taller than you. No, they said, just a little under 5'4". And I forget where they got their statistic from. But I was like, okay, that's actually not that tall. So I was just wondering how tall you are if you're a woman, and then I can average it up and I can come up with my own statistic. You know what I'm saying? I have some friends that are about my height, height, height. Oh, great. Now I'm not going to know how to say that. And I do have some tall friends. I see you up there. I have some, I have some really tall friends actually, but most probably around that size. That size would be around the five, four mark. But again, it's all relative because truthfully, if you ask me how tall someone is, I'm like, taller than me. That's what I want to talk about today. Oh, I'm drinking my hot chocolate and I want to know how tall you are. So let me know. And don't forget if you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome and on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Yeah, I, I Google just, I don't, I just, I'm interested and curious. That's, the, that's my excuse. I've also waited until it started raining. Oh, there's our realty signs. I've waited until it started sprinkling. It's not raining, it's sprinkling. So I'm gonna go in, unload my stuff, 
and get ready for my noon meeting. I don't think I have to do anything, but I, I, I need to see if I need to do anything. Also, I'm going to show a house later today to if they give me the key. Because for some reason now they're acting like it's all secret. I'm like, I've already shown the house twice. It's not on the market yet, but I've already shown it twice. So, <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, they're nice people that I'm talking to about getting the key, but I'm like, she's like, well, it's not really available yet. I said, I know, I know, but I'm just going to show it to my, my, my people, my people, I'm going to show it to my people. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to go inside now because it's starting to spring, it's starting to move past the sprinkle stage into the rain stage. We're out at AT&T. Here's the man. There's Gilbert. He's helping us get a new phone. I got an iPhone 10X. Let's get in better lighting, shall we? I got an iPhone 10XS Max. And so did Marvin. Marvin got the black color and I got silver. They didn't have rose gold, so I got silver. But I also got a spec bodyguard this is not sponsored by the way not an ad but i got a spec presidio clear and print cover and marvin got the same same kind that he got last time so that's what we're doing today and it's not taking 12 hours like it did last time so that's a plus hey guys i know i look a little bit like pocahontas but i have been practicing my braids because i'm going to be traveling soon and i thought braids might be a good way to kind of Still have my hair down. I don't know. I was trying to I'm trying to be trendy. <laughs> but oh, let me show you something. First of all, hi Captain. Hi. Are you what are you doing? So um we got new phones today. I got the new iPhone 10. Not new, new to me, new iPhone 10 X S Max excessively massive is what it really stands for but I do like a bigger phone back in the day we used to try to get the tiniest phone ever now everybody I, mean, I prefer the bigger phone so they had some cases and of course the case that went on my other phone which was a 7 plus did not fit the 10x s max and so I had to get a new case well so sad not really I like new cases and I get new cases just because I think they're fun and they're a great way to express yourself so Marvin was getting a black one just like the one he had on before and the one I had on most recently with what was was this Kate Spade cute little iPhone case right it's cute so it doesn't fit my phone anymore so then I saw one I was like okay that's kind of cute and it had some gold with pink flowers. And I thought, well, I have a silver phone, but it's fine. It'll, it'll look cute. Of course, that was for the S, 8S or something. Whatever. It didn't fit my phone. And it's like, oh, well, we have this one. So back I am in seventh grade. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's pink glitter. I'm not a pink glitter person. So it just kind of reminds me of like, I'm like 12 years old again or something and I got a phone. Well, I didn't have a phone except when I was 12 years old. I didn't, I had a phone in our house, but that was the extent of our phones that we had. I didn't have my cell phone then. They weren't even around. So I got this case and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be totally on Amazon later looking for another case because <laughs> that's not, I mean, it's not bad. I will use it. It is not bad but it's just not quite what I was hoping for or looking for. So if you have any great places to get a phone case for a 10XS Max, I would appreciate it, iPhone. 
and I got the little headphone things, but those like earbuds, like they, I don't know, it's like a rock in my ear. I don't really like this. I like the foam ones. I am wrapping up. I'm trying to look at Wing Moms to see if I have everything that's ready to post for tomorrow because tomorrow morning I have a nine o'clock appointment uh, meeting and then I have an 11 o'clock nail appointment and petty appointment. And then I have, I have to drop off some keys while I'm over in that area. And then I think my next appointment's at four. So I uh, should have house tonight. Uh, long story about that one, but anyway, it didn't work out. So I don't have, I mean, I have new clients, but yeah, I need, I need some more clients. So if you have anybody that needs to buy or sell, send them my way. And with that, I'm going to bid you good night. Don't forget to be kind to others and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.